One day got out of the shower, was you know drying off, and I just looked and found a little lump right here. It was concerning me because I was losing function of this arm. I'm just kind of hanging there. I had a very aggressive type of cancer, stage three, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I call it the luck of the draw because uh, there's a lot of cancer centers around. I ended up at the best place possible. I went to the cancer center then and met with my navigator. There's a lot of uncertainty when you're going through this, especially at the very beginning. She just went through everything step by step. I mean, when she was done, I knew what was gonna happen the next hour. I knew what was gonna happen the next week, on and on like that. But it's just, that's the way it is. It's like you're, you're, in a, you're home with your family and you have a family member taking care of you. That's what it felt like. I'd like to talk about Dr. Kim a little bit if I could. He, he's doing in life what he was put on this planet to do, I can tell you that. He's got this aura about him. You know, I'd come in there sometimes, I wouldn't feel too good. He just brings something in with it. It's like a comforting calmness. So what more can you say, you know? <laughs> you know, going through that is, is a life changer. There's no doubt about it. It just makes you appreciate everything so much more. And you've heard this before, but it's very important. Don't worry about a, a week down the road. Day at a time, day at a time. Get that positive attitude going. It's a big, big deal. Uh, but you're going to find out, I think everybody experiences this, is uh, it's a roller coaster ride. Up here, you're going to have days where you feel good, you want to go out and just keep doing what you're always doing, and there's going to be days when you drop down here. But if you had the same experience I have had over at the uh, Kootenai Cancer Center, the people up there are just uplifting. They just keep bringing you back up, bringing you back up again. I would say, um, well, first of all, when you get this news, you know, your whole world's kind of turned upside down and you've got a lot of decisions to make. But the one decision I would suggest you don't waste a lot of energy on is just go there. Just choose Kootenai Cancer Center. The second floor, that's where the nurses are. That's where you get your treatment. They're just unbelievable. Um, I called them, I had a name for them. I said, you guys are my earthly guardian angels. And they were. Yeah, well, it's been four years since I had my last treatment. And, uh, and uh, during those four years, I go in every six months. And so I was just in there a couple of weeks ago and, and they drew the blood thing. And Dr. Kim came in and he said, you know, he said, it's been four years. And he goes, and I can safely say you're cured. You're 100% cured from cancer, but we're gonna watch you for one more year just to make sure. So. I said, great news. I said, but I won't get to see you anymore, doctor. Because we, we kind of became real close friends. We really did. I mean, the guy saved my life, you know? What, what do you say to somebody like that?